You never listen to what I'm saying to you. It's impossible because you're constantly talking. You never shut up. Okay, please don't yell, Frank. This is not yelling. This is oh, yelling! Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but we received a domestic disturbance at this address. Domestic disturbance? Sir, do you mind if I step inside for a moment? Uh, do I have to remind you that I'm your superior officer? Get off my porch and go back to doing your job. Sir, I'm just here to make sure that everything's okay. I'm here to help. Get the hell out of here. Why don't you listen to me? You never listen to what I'm saying to you. It's impossible because you're constantly talking. I have no choice but to listen to you. You never shut up. Could you be nice to me just for one day? Just stop barking orders at me and ask me politely. I do ask politely. Once, sometimes twice. But when I continue to ask and I don't get what I want, Forgive me, but I get a little upset. Okay, please don't yell, Frank. Oh, I'm not yelling. This is not yelling. This is oh, yelling! God. Oh. oh! Stop. You think after 30 years of marriage you'd have a clue? What the hell's wrong with you I'm anyway? Sorry. I'm sorry, please stop. I'm sorry. That's 10 4 dispatch. 7 7 South River Drive. That's correct, Captain. Dispatch, can you verify that address, please? 7 7 South River Drive. It's a second call today, Captain. 10 4 dispatch, you can show me a route. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Chief Ace. Porter, what is it that brings you to my house on a Saturday, my day off? Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but we received a domestic disturbance at this address. Domestic disturbance? Yeah, well, actually, we received quite a few. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Are you here alone? No, my wife is inside. Is anyone else inside the house? No, just the two of us. Look, I appreciate your concern, but uh, everything's fine. I mean, granted, my wife and I haven't exactly been seeing eye to eye lately, and there may have been a little yelling. Mm, I see. Well, you understand, you're married. Sir, do you mind if I step inside for a moment? Uh, do I have to remind you that I'm your superior officer? Look, everything's okay here. Why don't you just leave, get off my porch, and go back to doing your job? Yes, sir. Was at the door. Hey, 
like you don't know. I, I don't know, Frank. That's why I, I'm asking. How, how, how am I supposed to know? Because you called them. Called who? The police. Police? I, I didn't call the police, Frank. Truly, you are losing it. Probably our neighbors called the police with all your shouting. Look, this is my house. If I want to shout, I'm going to shout. Oh, your family. Your family's a disgrace. They mooch off me. Your sister foreclosed on her house. She'd be homeless if it wasn't for me. And that brother of yours, he'd be in prison. Okay, stop. Just please I'm stop. I'm just getting started. Stop. Oh, what now? Didn't I tell you to get out of here? Sir, I need you to remain calm. Who the hell do you think you are? Look, sir, I'm just here to make sure that everything's okay. I'm here to help. Everything is fine, I told you. Now for the last time, get the hell out of here. Are you okay, ma'am? Yeah, yeah, she's fine. With all due respect, sir, I was asking your wife. Is everything okay? I'm here to help. I'm okay. Everything will be fine. Yeah, you see? She's fine. There's nothing here for you to see. Do you need my help? Okay, Porter, that's it. Party's over. Let's go. Yeah, I don't think so. You won't have a job come Monday, comprendo? You know what? I don't understand how a man can do this, much less to his own wife. Uh, stop right there before you say something you're going to want to take back. Yeah. Chief Hayes, you're under arrest for domestic battery. You have the oh. right to remain silent. Have you lost your marbles? You have a right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You can't arrest me. I'm the chief. You have a right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you without cost. Look, I'm going to have your badge, and when this is all over, you're going to be working at 7-Eleven. Do you understand these rights as I've read them to you? <sighs> Porter, this is career suicide. Yeah, I don't think so but I think that there's going to be an imminent retirement for you soon. Plus these charges, obviously. Oh, no. You can't do this to me. <laughs> Ma'am, do you want to say goodbye? Goodbye, Frank. It's over. It's, it's finally over. And yes, I want to press charges. Well, you heard her, Chief. Now let's go.